New Hampshire's seacoast, 17 miles of sand and sea. On Hampton's North Beach, where large rocks dot the shoreline, there is the wall. And a small stretch of beach at that wall between 10th and 12th streets is where surfers find their joy. There's generations of people surfing, and it's a lot of it's a lot of fun. There's a lot of familiar faces and a lot of new faces, and uh, lots and lots of kids embracing the sport. And the ocean is a healthy place to be. Awesome, guys. Have a great day. Dave Cropper has been surfing as long as he can remember. I started surfing when I was about 12 years old. Dave owns Cinnamon Rainbow's Surf Company, located at a busy intersection on Route 1A. He bought the store after graduating from high school more than 40 years ago. The brightly colored surf shop sells clothing, boards of all sizes for all ages. It's the cool place to be, whether you are a grom, uh, that's surf slang for young and inexperienced, or if you are a dude that knows how to hang ten. There's great waves here. It's not a secret anymore, though, as far as the surf community goes. Uh, it's cold, it can be inconsistent, but it's a beautiful place to surf. Uh, we got some great point breaks and beach breaks, and uh, the community of people is really what sets it apart. The Beach Boys once sang, catch a wave and you're sitting on top of the world. Truth? It's you versus the ocean. You don't have teammates or coaches. And uh, once you're in the water, it's just getting in the rhythm of the ocean and waiting for the next wave and all the stress of land goes away. Cinnamon Rainbows makes sure surfing is available to everyone. Every summer, crowds gather on the beach as the shop sponsors events like Surfing with Smiles, offering lessons to special needs kids. And wounded warriors are given the chance to hop on a board and ride those waves. That's one of the most important things that we do. Seasoned surfers appear to glide on the water or balance inside a barrel, but that takes years to perfect, and it's always best to start with a lesson. You're always gonna go where you're looking, so when you're surfing this way, you're gonna wanna look at the wall. Because if you're, if you're looking at somebody, you're going to turn towards them. If you're looking in the water, you're going to go in the water. So wherever you want to go is where you're going to look. Griff Burnett is my instructor from Cinnamon Rainbows. At age 22, he's a veteran. Since I was a baby in diapers, my dad used to take me out um, here, actually. So I've been here my whole life surfing. I grew up hanging at the surf shop, Cinnamon Rainbows, and I always saw the older guys that I looked up to doing it like all the best surfers around here were teaching surf lessons so I always knew I wanted to be a part of it. Surfing 101 first understanding the board. So right here the nose all the way down there is the tail at the bottom of the board is the fins you always want to keep your hands and feet away from them they can be sharp. Then comes the all-important pop-up setting yourself up to catch that wave. Bring your left leg up first. There you go. And then you center that just a little bit more, and you're good to go. You just crouch, look forward. Just like that, you're dialed. Except now we have to try this in the ocean. In surfer slang, powerful surf is described as heavy. The conditions on this day, well, you might say they're baby waves, but they're perfect for the novice. And then a word that's the same in any lingo, wipe out. And my videographer was there to capture that one. Seeing the joy on like anybody's face, whether they're 70 years old or seven years old, you know, just like there's no feeling like catching your first wave or any wave after that. There's always gonna be a smile at the end of it. You never see somebody frowning while they're surfing. They're always having a good time. under the water to a far more zen-like water sport. Paddle boarding is an activity for all ages. We're gonna launch in like a nice little sandbar spot. Cinnamon Rainbows teaches paddleboard lessons and leads guided tours at the northern end of North Beach. Can anybody do this? It's so much fun. Um, 
and it's a great way to be in the water and social distance and be outside. Uh, it's very easy to do, however, finding the right board, the right conditions are all going to set yourself up for success. You hold the paddle up and you reach your arm to the sky and you want it to sort of come to, yeah, right about the top of your wrist right there. And also having the right size board and the right equipment, knowing the water temperature, whether you need a wetsuit or not. The water temperature is about 70 degrees here today, which is about as, about as nice as it gets <laughs> here in New Hampshire. We don't have a lot of wind, so I would say we have a, and there's not much surf, so we have ideal conditions to paddleboard. After a few tips, Dave and I headed towards the water, the beach, thick with seaweed after a recent storm. Paddle boards are wider than surfboards, Dave helps me get on board and I go out. Nice and glassy, this is awesome. Are you comfortable? I'm heading to the Alza Show. <laughs> Once you get the hang of paddling, time to stand up. Place your hands on the paddle in front of you. You're doing great. Finding myself going in the wrong direction, Dave guides me back. The correct way to paddle seems a bit backwards at first. You can slow down and get on your knees if you're getting into danger. Perfect. The paddle boarding craze has its roots in Hawaii with many variations, including paddle boarding, surfing, and racing. In New Hampshire, the sport is more about a peaceful way to enjoy the water, either alone or with family. I think everybody wants to be outside, and it's a great way um, to be outside. There's all different types of paddle boards. We were on some recreational paddle boards that were soft top. Uh, there's some that are surf specific for riding waves. There's some that are touring specific, or so for going distance if you want to put some miles on. And there's inflatable paddle boards as well if you don't have a lot of space. Uh, so there's a lot of different paddle boards. There's a lot of different uses for paddle boards, but uh, the end result's all the same. It's a lot of fun. Surfing or standing, keeping dry or going under. No experience necessary. Just let the experts at Cinnamon Rainbows guide the way.